Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about something that I think is really important and that I highly recommend that every YouTube content creator have, and that is video backups. Now, for most of us, we're going to have our original videos on our computer, laptops, or some external storage. And then even some people might have some of their videos on some online storage as well. But the bottom line is that you need to have your video backups. And unfortunately, things happen. Uh, maybe something happens to your computer, your external storage, or even your cloud storage, and you might lose some of those original videos. So how else would you actually get to your video backups? Well, thankfully, YouTube does provide a solution. So if you go to YouTube Studio, you can download your video. So if you go here to Options, and then choose the three dots, you can download the video this way. So I'll go ahead and download it now. Or you could actually select it and go up here to more actions and you could download it that way. And even though that is an okay solution, the problem is you're not getting the full original resolution. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I go here to my downloads folder, here's the video. And it's definitely my video, but if I actually go here to tools and look at the codec information, the resolution is 1280 by 720 which is not the original resolution that I had when I uploaded it. And right now, that is a limitation put there by YouTube. So if you currently download any videos using this method, the maximum resolution is 720p. So this could be a really big problem, especially if you recorded your original videos in a higher resolution like 4K. Thankfully, YouTube does give you an option to download the original resolution videos and even though it is not the best and most straightforward option, it is currently the best option that YouTube offers until maybe in the future, they provide you where you could download different resolutions of your original video. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so this is what you need to do. You need to go to your YouTube channel. And then once you're there, go up here to your logo or icon. And then you're going to go to manage your Google account. So this is something that you're able to do with any Gmail account. So it's not restricted to YouTube. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and end up on this page. So this has all your Google account information and where you want to go is to data and privacy. And here you can scroll down or you could go here to your data and privacy options and go to data from apps and services you use. And in this case, you could go to download your data. Now, in this case, you're going to end up in a Google takeout and Google will allow you to download a lot of the data that they collect on you. And basically, they collect a lot of data. But what you really want to do is go down here to YouTube. So this is really the only data that I want. And right now, everything's already selected. So you could deselect all first and then go down here to YouTube and just select this. Now, whenever you download this, this is what it's going to do. It's going to give you all these things okay however you can be selective on what you want to download so in this case it has all youtube data included but you could choose this and then deselect all and in my case i just want my videos because whenever you have everything selected sometimes it causes problems and my videos don't get downloaded at least from the last time i tried so i'm going to go ahead and just select videos i'm going to say okay so now it's one type selected then you go to next step and in this case, you could choose your actual delivery method. So they could send it via email, they could add to Dropbox, OneDrive, or add to Box. So I'm going to go ahead and have it sent to my email. And then you could choose a frequency of exports. Okay, you could export once, every two months for a year. It's really your choice. So I'm just going to do export once. And then you could choose the file type and size. So you could download it as a zip file or a TJZ. I'm going to choose zip. And now you could actually choose the size of the export file. So the larger the file size, obviously the larger it's going to be. And so in this case, I'm just going to have it as one gig. And I'm going to go ahead and create the export. And once you do that, it'll go ahead and uh, create the export. And it's going to send you an email. Now, whenever you receive the email, you will get a link to download the actual export file. 
And the thing is, depending on how many videos that you have and you know how large your channel is, it really varies in time. And right now, you're not able to choose which videos that you could download. So that's really the biggest drawback. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my email and I'm gonna show you how this looks like. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. Okay, so once your downloads are ready, you will get an email if you chose that option from Google Takeout. And the thing is, it's gonna basically have all your files separated so at least for me i wanted each download file to be one gig and so i have 897 files to download because i have more than a thousand videos on my channel so depending on how large your channel is you could have a lot to download and whenever you click on it it's actually going to go to a, another uh, window and this is what you're going to get so here it's going to tell you that the export is too big for one file so they split it up into at least for me 897 files each one of them is a gig each and even though this is great that you can download it it is not the best way in my opinion uh, hopefully in the future uh, they will allow you to download directly from YouTube studio the original high quality version that's what I'm hoping because this way it is cumbersome but at least you're able to get all your backups of your original high resolution files. So let me show you how this looks like. So if you go to your downloads, you're gonna get a zip file. So this is the first zip file that I got. It is approximately one gig, so it's 1.1 gig. And whenever you extract the file, you get a folder called takeout. And so if you're gonna be extracting multiple files, I highly recommend that you rename these folder files so then they don't overwrite each other. And so if you look in here, you see YouTube and YouTube and music and then videos. And in this case, this is one thing that really bugs me with this is you can't choose which videos are in the download file. So they just randomly put the videos in there. But the great thing is if you actually look at the videos and then you go to the codec information, uh, this is the original resolution that I had whenever I uploaded it. Okay, original codec. And as you can see, my video resolution is 1920 by 1080. So this is a backup of your original files that you uploaded to YouTube, which is better than not having any backups at all. And so that's why I highly recommend that if you don't already have backups of your videos, then this is another option to do that. And if you don't have all your backups, then I would say just take the time to download all your videos this way. Now, as you can see, there are multiple videos in this download file, but there's also another thing. There's this video metadata CSV file. So if you open that up, it's basically gonna have all the metadata information, things like the title of your video, your video ID, channel ID, and your description. So this is really important because if you had to redo a lot of these things, it's great that you still have it here but you're still gonna have to be able to do other things as well if you had to redo your videos, you know, like your tags and stuff, because at least here, I don't see that. And so um, that's the only thing. You won't have everything, but you'll have the most important thing. So maybe in a future update, they'll give you all the metadata, including your tags. And so you don't have to redo that. So at least for right now, you know, this is better than not having it. Once again, this is still, I would say, a better option than having to figure out what happened to your videos, or in some cases, not being able to recover it at all. And so that is how you would actually retrieve backups of your original file directly from YouTube. And hopefully in the future, YouTube will give us an option to where we could download the original high resolution version directly from YouTube Studio so that we could choose the videos that we want to download the original files from. So that is it on this particular video. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did enjoy these videos and wanted to see more of my YouTube tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're gonna get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. 
And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.